Welcome to another video from swanseatechsupport.co.uk I've received a request for help from a user on YouTube. The question is simply, how do I group this data into half-hour time intervals and then display it as a chart? Well, to solve this problem, we're going to use a combination of pivot tables and an additional helper column. Okay, so what I want to do is take each of these values here and have that round to uh, to the previous half an hour uh, to have the interval there. So insert, I'm going to insert column here. I'm going to call this interval uh, interval. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to set, set it so this 12.37 will round down to 12.30, 1.37 will round down to 1.30, 2.37 to 2.30, and so on, so that we get all of these. will then, for these, all of these will then be rounded down to 4 o'clock, all the way down to 4.29, and so on. So... What we're going to do first is to figure out what a half hour is in as a normal number. Basically, we're going to type in 0030. Whoops. And now to use this in a formula, I need to convert it to a normal number. So I'm going to come up to my number formatting here and just say... Uh, general, no specific format, and there you have it. That's that number up here is what is half an hour to Excel. So you know you can do that. You could easily change it to um, have 15 minute intervals. You could put 15 in there instead, and and the same thing there, custom to general, and you could use that one instead and have it by 15 minutes. We're just going to use the half an hour for this one, which is fine. We can make a note of this. It's in cell A, J. We'll need to refer to that in a moment. And we're going to use a formula now to round each of these values down. And the formula is we're going to take the integer value of the cell next to it, in this case A2, divide that by quarter of an hour, which we said was in cell A, J. Um, and then close off that, and then I actually want to um, hard code this in a moment. So I'll uh, put that as, uh, AJ again. Oops, a, no, that's the wrong. Uh, that should be AJ one. There. there we go. That should be AJ one there. Okay, and that'll round me down to 12.30. Okay, so I want to hard code this in, so double click that and that'll highlight there. And then you're going to press the F9 key and that'll convert that into that half an hour value there and do the same thing again, double click and then press F9 there. And that then allows me to uh, send this down through the whole thing. So normally we would uh, take the fill handle there so that our cursor turns into that small black cross and you drag it through your data uh, just to check there we've got 644 rounding down to 630 that's fine. So we're going to take that now so you get the black cursor there and then just double click and that'll send it down right down to the very bottom of the data. So if I now press control down arrow now, it'll take me to the bottom of the data and I can see, yep, yeah, whoops, what's going on there? Okay, 11.59 being round down to 11.30 as is 12 o'clock for the next day, which is fine. Uh, I do page up a couple of times. Okay, we've got 11.40 being rounded down to 11.30 and so on. So press control up. Okay, so we now get that with our extra little helper column. And now it's time to uh, to summarize all this. The good thing is now, now we have all this, so where we have all our falls, when we now use a pivot table, uh, the pivot table will take all the values in each of the fall each of the columns there relating to four o'clock and we'll just uh, add them all together and sum them up. 
So taking all the effort out of our hands there. So if I go to insert and pivot table, uh, okay, I want to select a table or range. It'll automatically select my whole data set here, which is uh, great. Uh, I want it in a new worksheet. That's fine. So I'll just click OK on that one. Okay, and now I get pivot table one over there. That's fine. I don't want the time. I want the interval. And I want to put the interval. I want to left click on there and drag it down to my row labels. So you can see here, it's taken out all the extra ones. I don't have to group it or anything else. It'll automatically tell me that I've got 12, 31, 32, 30, and so on, which is absolutely fine. That's what I want. And then I can click in values, just left click in the blank area there. And then I can start selecting through each of these. Okay, just do some of these just to give you the idea. And then you can go through, you know, however many or whichever ones you want. Okay, so now when I come down here, we see that for five o'clock, I've got 83, one, two, five, so it's already added them all up on here. And so you can just do that, and that's, you know, one of the advantages of um, the pivot tables is you can have as many or as few of these as you want. You can have all of them if you want to uh, replicate the uh, sheet over the other one. Or you can just have uh, have a section of whichever ones you want, and just you know add, add and uh, remove them as you please. So that's the pivot table. The other question was, okay, how do I make a chart of that table of that uh, of this data? Well, it's exactly the same way. Go to insert, go to pivot table. Except I'm on click on pivot, table, click on down arrow there, and I'm going to say pivot chart. Okay, exactly the same way, select a table, new worksheet, exactly fine there. And then you see we now get the pivot table, we also get over here our pivot chart. So if I select interval and drag that down into my axis there, my fields, I'll put it down the left hand side there, which like we did on the um, pivot table. And then I can just choose then which of these I actually want to add as my values. So left click in the bank space for the uh, values and just choose whichever one or ones you actually want to make the data for. So, you know, exactly the same way with the pivot table. You can see that as I add them, it'll add it on to, uh, let's move this one. No, not that. Whoops that back where it was there we go on that black arrow there there you go move that over to there so you see that as i add these it'll add it on here but it'll also add it onto my uh pivot table at the same time so i can either choose the print one or the uh you know choose choose print the chart or the uh table um and that's all there is to it there so Let's go back to there. Just remember then. Oops, there we go. So just remember to add this little um, value there and use that in the formula that I just showed you. And you're good to go on that one, I think. OK, if there's any uh, problems or any quest further questions anybody has on that, just let me know in the comments section. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.